Hello everyone, the warm-up channel is with you and today we will talk about the situation at the front and what changes have occurred over the past day. And let us always start with the losses that the Russian army suffered over the past day. Russia lost 480 liquidated personnel, 9 tanks, 14 armor personnel vehicle, 8 artillery system, 1 aircraft, 2 helicopters, 3 UAV, 10 vehicles and full tanks, and 1 special equipment. Very good result for Ukrainian army. And let's talk about the latest news on the front, the so-called evacuation from the temporarily occupied territory of the Kherson region continues in the settlement of Kachkarivka. Here, the enemies gave the residents of the settlement two days to evict from their homes and evacuate. Additional roadblocks were set up on the evacuation roads to the temporarily occupied Crimea where careful care and checks of the civilian population were organized. At the same time, another batch of mobilized Russian servicemen arrived in settlements in the Zaporizhia region. The enemies have intensified filtering measures in the different settlements in the region. According to the update information, it was confirmed that the enemies' manpower and equipment were damaged in the temporarily occupied territory of the Parisian region. Thus, artillery units of the defense forces in the settlement of Novavadyane destroyed uh, an ammunition warehouse, up to five trucks with ammunition and three D-30 guns. Up to 110 enemy servicemen were wounded in the areas of Tokmak. Here, um, settlement. The number of dead is carefully concealed by the enemies. Aviation of the defense forces of Ukraine during the current day made 24 strikes. It was confirmed that 20 areas of concentration of weapon and military equipment and for position of the enemies anti-aircraft missile system were hit. Units of missile troops and artillery hit the common post six areas of concentration of manpower, weapons and military equipment, four ammunition warehouses and other important military objects of the enemies. The USA will continue to provide military aid to the Ukrainian army and announce the transfer of a new package of weapons, ammunition and equipment. The corresponding statement was made during a briefing at the US Department of Defense which was broadcast by Reuters. In particular, the new 275 million package will include additional ammunition for the HIMARS MLRS. In addition, the following will be transferred to Ukraine. 500 high-precision guided artillery shells, system of remote anti-tank mining, HMV, uh, light transport vehicles, firearms and ammunition. At the same time, the aid was announced after the US approved the plan to combat the illegal movement of weapons in Eastern Europe. It is expected to provide more opportunities for security forces in Ukraine and neighboring countries to record and store weapons as well as threaten Ukraine border. The head of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleva, in a telephone conversation with his Iranian colleague, demanded an immediate end to the supply of Iranian weapons to Russia. Kuleva wrote about this on his Twitter, European Truth Reports. I received a call today from the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Iran. During the conversation, I demanded that Iran immediately stop supplying Russia with weapons that are used to kill civilians and destroy critical infrastructure in Ukraine, the head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine said. The intelligence of Great Britain emphasizes that currently the Ukrainian military is trying to break the defense of the Russian occupation army near Svatova, here and Kriminaya in the south in Lugansk region. 
The line of attack of the armed forces uh, of Ukraine runs along the Oskil River. In addition, uh, the armed forces of Ukraine are conducting counteroffensive operation in the Kherson region. Our fighters are trying to break through the enemy's defenses in three areas. On the Mykolaiv direction, here in the Snihurivka area, here and along the right bank of the Dnieper. Meanwhile, Russian troops are trying to attack Ukrainian u units near Bakhmut. Uh, the enemy has no success. Meanwhile, the spokesman of the Air Force Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Yuri Ignat, said that the Russian army is experiencing a shortage of certain types of missiles, due to which the enemies are changing the tactics of launching missile strikes. Moscow is already asking for missiles wherever it can. Their allies include Iran and North Korea. They already have a shortage of Iskander missiles. Their supply has been exhausted. Therefore, they are trying to get ballistic missiles already from their partners. They only attack critical infrastructure. Even important military facilities are not of interest to the enemy. You can't relax, but statistics show that the enemy is hitting on energy. The most massive strike in October was on the 10th, and they did not spare 84 missiles, of which 55 were Ash-101 uh, and 155 missiles, which are the most expensive in the arsenal, Ignat said. Thank you, you all for your attention. If this video was useful for you, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can support me. Thank you all and see you tomorrow.